was younger, I always asked questions. And then with, the, with microbiology, every time I ask a question, half the time all the answers aren't known, and so now I want to know the answer. And so it's just that constant drive to try and figure things out. I think in general I'm a curious person, so science in general was a natural fit for me to just explore how things work. And in college I ended up getting an opportunity to work in a microbiology lab and sort of fell in love with you know, the tiny things that we can't see that do so much for our world, really. My major in undergrad actually in, pharm in pharmaceutical science. So I spent like three years learning how to make drugs and design drug delivery system and things like that. Which then, you know, it kind of bored because then it, I just don't understand the disease itself. And that's why it kind of intrigued me to get to know more about microbiology. I got into microbiology sort of in a weird way. Um, I was really interested in going to med school and I was looking for ways to sort of beef up my application, I guess. And I started working in a lab, you know, and I just thought I'll, I'll do this first semester and I just really loved it and I really loved the science. So I decided to stick with it and go to grad school instead. I didn't decide to be a microbiologist. I became one kind of eventually. I worked in endocrinology for a while um, and I was making antibodies against hormones and realized I was more interested in the process of making the antibodies than what I was going to do with them. So I became a micro, uh, an immunologist and then while I was an immunologist I was teaching microbiology and became more interested in that than the work I was doing so just sort of shifted into microbiology really as a postdoc. Well I started out actually wanting to be an MD and so I've since childhood, that's what I wanted to do with my life. And I actually went to a high school of medical professions. And so I worked in a hospital. And I find my, found myself asking myself, okay, why are these things happening though? I see there are sick people, why are they sick? And so at that point I realized more than being an MD, I wanted to do the science behind medicine. The primary reason is microbiology is um, a field where every day when you look at a culture, it's like looking at a new present because you get something new every day. Every patient is different. Uh, every, even though they may end up having the same thing, you work differently. Uh, so it's that unknown. You're, and you're always looking for that unexpected uh, organism that uh, might be there. You, know, you go on for days and days, just the same old routine stuff, and then you run into something that you might only see couple times during your whole career. Well, honestly, uh, I, I, I did want to major in biochemistry. It was too much math. So I decided to join microbiology instead, and I've never regretted it. Well, I was very interested in microbiology from a very early age. Um, but what really excited me more was when I won a microscope at a science fair when I was eight. And I would put everything under the microscope. And I just became more and more fascinated with, with the microbial world. And from there on, the passion just kept growing. I was always interested in uh, science, medical science of some sort. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I, while I was in college, I got a job in the hospital as a phlebotomist. And I knew when I was a phlebotomist that I did not want to um, do that for the rest of my life. So part of being a phlebotomist is that you have to deliver the specimens to the laboratory. And so as I roamed through the various divisions of the laboratory, I discovered microbiology. And at that moment, I knew that I wanted to uh, have a career, hopefully have a career in, uh, in clinical microbiology. When I was in high school, I took a microbiology class that I really enjoyed. And at that point in time, in my 17 years of life, I decided that that's what I was gonna do forever. Uh, and then I went off to college and it didn't and I did something completely different. I was an entomologist, and then entomology began to wear on me, and I ran away and joined the military, and then I ran away from the military and became an immunologist, and then I ran away from immunology and became a neuroscientist, and then finally I got trapped being a microbiologist because that's the only thing that was left to do. Well, what drives me in science is just the discovery, just to be answering questions. You know, as a graduate student, the first time I did an experiment and realized that, that I just learned something that nobody else knew before it was just the most amazing feeling. And so, and now to see students get that kind of excitement is more fun, you know, to be able to do that. So, The first time I was exposed to microbiology, I was 14, and we had a biology class. And I remember the professor brought out the Petri plates and he said you can use these pitchy plates to grow microorganisms in the environment. I'd never even heard of microbes at that point. 
So we were allowed to do whatever we wanted with, my, uh, with the Petri plate. So I brushed my hair on mine. And then the next day there was this huge, great orange slime going across. It was probably a book called Varia, which I know now, but back then it was just amazing that this disgusting thing was on the plate. Everybody else was completely weirded out, but I thought it was a most fantastic thing. And the advantage to bacteria is that they'll give you a colony on a plate overnight. So you can put an experiment in the incubator and the very next day you can see what you've generated. And so that was really exciting. That kind of got me thinking about science in a way I hadn't thought about as, as something that was exciting as opposed to just a topic you have to study. Each day you work with microbes, it's a new adventure. And so it's no longer work, but truly an adventure. You're an explorer. You know, you, you're, you have this opportunity to talk to things that can't talk. They answer and they don't speak English. It's really a remarkable adventure, exploring the unseen, of the unseen life of our planet. The way that science works, there's so many unsolved questions that you just don't know the answer to. And I want to be the one to figure out why it works. Like, I want to have my name in a book saying, like, Megan Sheldon discovered why does this. Megan Sheldon was the first person to discover the cure for this. Like, that drives my passion to be able to know that 20 years from now, 100 years from now, people will be able to say, Megan Sheldon changed science forever.